Hello, Namaskar and welcome ANOVA to a classification and in the previous lecture we discussed the part 1 of the solution of the problem in which we are trying to study the effect of three different water temperatures and three types of detergents on whiteness of a particular kind of cloth that is known as khadi. Yes, we have already calculated SST, SSC, SSR, SSC in the previous lecture and we discussed how to calculate all these things in case of two-way classification. Yes, and we can see that the ANOVA table is more or less same as that is in case of one-way classification. But we have introduced a new row. The second row is new and that is based on the rows. Yes, in the data. Yeah. SSC is relevant to column, SSR is relevant to rows and the degrees of freedom for column is column, number of columns minus 1, we have 3 columns, detergent ABC, so it comes to 3 minus 1, 2 and similarly we have 3 water temperatures, cold, warm and hot, so number of rows are 3 and the degrees of freedom for rows is number of rows minus 1, 3 minus 1, 2 and Degrees of freedom for errors or residual, that is degrees of freedom number 3, nu 3, the sign is nu, not v, is multiplication of these two, 2 into 2, 4. And summation of all these three degrees of freedom must be total number of elements in the data, minus 1, that is 9, minus 1, 8. Okay, now the main thing in this part 2 of solution is testing of hypothesis and preparing a NOVA table, part and partial NOVA table is already here, yes, but before calculating these five things, just first let's focus on hypothesis. In case of two-way classification, we have two sets of hypotheses. yes, one for columns, that is detergents here and another for rows, that is water temperatures in this case. Yeah, so it is actually something like we are solving two problems simultaneously. Two problems of testing or hypothesis simultaneously we are solving them. The hypothesis for detergents is, as we know that null hypothesis is always about no difference. So it can be simply there is no significant difference in wideness due to the three types or various types of detergents. Yeah, very simple. But what is the exact meaning of this hypothesis in case of this particular problem? So we can say that no particular type of detergent gives greater or better whiteness to the cloth than the other types of detergents. Yeah. No. Almost all the three gives same degree of whiteness. But what if this null hypothesis is rejected? We should have another set of say conclusion that is known as alternative hypothesis and we can argue against this null hypothesis that at least one type of detergent gives greater or better whiteness to the clothes. Yes. How can we conclude that all the three are more or less same? At least one can be different, at least one can be better. And this is actually relevant to the fact that ANOVA is always one tail test. Because in case of NOVA, there are three or more levels of independent variable. And at least one can be better than the remaining. Or say, the performance of, or performance under one level of independent variable may be, say, less than the other levels. So we always think about one direction, either greater or better, or less than or say worse you can say that so at least one type of detergent gives greater or better whiteness to the cloth than the remaining two can give this is our counter argument and in case of water temperatures the null hypothesis can be the similar there is no significant difference in whiteness due to the different water temperatures okay or different levels of water temperatures. 
you can write level word here, different levels of water temperatures. What is the exact meaning of this wordings of the null hypothesis? No particular level of water temperature gives greater or better whiteness to the cloth. Yes. No significant difference in whiteness means no particular level of water temperature can give better whiteness to the cloth. But what if this hypothesis or null hypothesis is rejected? Our counter argument is at least one level of water temperature gives greater or better whiteness to the cloth. At least one cold, warm and hot. At least one of these two, rather these three water temperature levels can give better whiteness. Yes? So, the sign of alternative hypothesis is always con confusing because the sign which is used to express the alternative hypothesis in case of ANOVA always is not equal to and that we use for two tail tests. But the important thing is ANOVA is always one tail. Yeah, in many of the reference books, this point has not been discussed by the authors because of I don't know the reason. But I dare to discuss this thing loudly because it is fact. At least one. We cannot say that all the three should be uh, giving better whiteness. All the three detergents, all the three levels of water temperature. Any one can give. Any two can give. All the three can give. So we use the term at least one. At least one is better than the others. At least one increases the whiteness. At least one gives better or greater whiteness than the other. So this is case of one tail test. Mind well. Okay, now let's go to the ANOVA. Yes, let's complete it. We have SSC and relevant degree of freedom, SSR and SSE and so on. So let's calculate MSC. That is SSC upon relevant degree of freedom. That is 304.3 divided by... 2, 304.3 divided by 2, yes, it is 152.15. Uh, MSR will be SSR divided by degrees of freedom number 2, that will be 73.6 divided by 2, that will be 36.8. Yeah. And the third is MSE, that will be SSE upon no 3 over degrees of freedom number 3, that will be 61.7 divided by 4, and that comes to 15.43. Now, on the basis of these three, we can calculate F ratio. In case of 2A classification, we need to calculate 2F ratios. The first F ratio stands for columns. The independent variable which we have expressed in the form of columns. It is detergents here, types of detergents. So first F ratio stands for types of detergents and that is MSC upon MSE 152.15 divided by 15.43. So F comes to 9.86 9.86 and the second F ratio stands for rows the independent variable in the form of rows we have expressed these levels of water temperatures and that is MSR upon MSE that means it is 36.8 divided by 15.43 so the F ratio for rows or water temperatures levels is 2.38 these two are F calculated in our general terminology so F calculated for columns or detergents is 9.86 and it is for water temperatures 2.38 yeah in the question yes please to see the whole question press show more and in the question it has been given that use 5% level of significance now find out the critical values to find the critical values first find the table of f test f ratio find out the table for alpha 0 
and in that table in the first column you have to see degrees of freedom number 3 that is 4 here and find out the column for degree of freedom 2 in in the first row and intersection of these two will be 6.94 this is the critical value and see the critical value is same in both the cases because degrees of freedom for column and rows are equal why because there are equal number of columns and rows in case of two way classification this is not compulsory number of columns and number of rows can be different and that means these two degrees of freedom can be different and that means these two critical values can be different in other cases okay now we can see that for columns or detergents f calculated is greater than f critical if the calculated value of test statistic is greater than critical value the null hypothesis is rejected Yes, what is the null hypothesis in case of detergents? No particular type of detergent gives greater whiteness to the cloth. Now this argument is rejected, this theory is rejected, this belief is rejected. So now we cannot believe that no particular type of detergent gives greater whiteness to the cloth. Then what should be our conclusion? It proves that at least one type of detergent gives better whiteness. So the alternative hypothesis becomes our conclusion. Because of scarcity of space, I am not writing the wordings of the conclusion. But wherever we reject the null hypothesis, the wordings of alternative hypothesis can be directly written as our conclusion. So don't forget to write the conclusion. That is, at least one type of detergent gives greater or better whiteness to the cloth. Now let's check what happens in case of water temperature. In case of water temperature, the calculated value is 2.38 against critical value 6.94. So, calculated value of F is less than the critical value. That means in this case, null hypothesis is accepted. We cannot reject the null hypothesis because calculated value is less than critical value. So, the null hypothesis itself becomes or remains as our conclusion. And what is it? No particular level of water temperature gives greater whiteness to the cloth. So what is the broad, first of all don't forget to write the conclusion and the wordings of conclusion will be this. And I advise you write to this kind of wordings as conclusion, not this general kind of wordings. This is my suggestion. Okay, because of scarcity of space I am not going to repeat it. You write the conclusion, no particular level of water temperature gives greater whiteness or better whiteness to the cloth. Okay, now what is the broad conclusion of, say, broad conclusion considering both the independent variables, detergents, types of detergents and levels of water temperatures into consideration. We can conclude that you can use any level of water temperature, whether cold, warm or hot. There will be no not much difference in whiteness of the cloth but you can use a particular kind of detergent to get the better whiteness which detergent that is another thing now we have to compare the three detergents individually a b and c a b a c and b c and then we can say come to the conclusion that exact which a or b or C, or AB, or AC, or BC, or all the three, yeah. That is, say, we have to go for four, rather, three T-tests. Between AB, between AC, and between BC. And then, we have to, say, draw our conclusion that exactly which one or two can be considered as giving better whiteness in case of detergent. But the common conclusion is whatever level of water temperature you use, there will be no difference in whiteness in general. But one or two 
different kinds of detergents can give better whiteness. I hope this lecture say may be useful to you to understand the process of preparing a NOVA table for two-way classification as well as testing of hypothesis under two-way classification. Not only that, how to write the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis, why the ANOVA is one-tailed test and how to draw and how to write the conclusion. I tried my level best to discuss all these things to make it is say easily understandable for you. I hope this may prove more and more useful if necessary you can watch this lecture more than once yeah so that's why say i go for presenting this through video lectures you can refer this lecture anytime yeah don't forget to subscribe if still you have not subscribed my youtube channel P R A S H N D P U W R, and don't also don't forget to like this lecture and please suggest this and my channel to all your friends, all your classmates. That's it. Thank you.